The LA Digital Government Summit featured one special guest, and we have the exclusive interview that tells all. Also, we have one of our pre-sales engineers in studio to answer one of your most frequently asked questions. It's time for Laserfish Insider News. What was the biggest highlight from the LA Digital Government Summit? Laserfish's senior government program strategist Katie Burke gives us the details in this exclusive interview. Katie Burke recently attended the LA Digital Government Summit, representing Laserfish. It's an opportunity for government entities to learn about the tools available to them to create a more efficient work environment, one of them being Laserfish software. The LA Digital Government Summit is a chance for the IT leaders in the city, in the county of LA, and in the surrounding cities as well to really come together and talk about the issues that are most pressing for them. So leading up to the conference, they get together and have a roundtable discussion about what's on their minds and the challenges they're facing, and they determine the content of the summit and they figure out what they want to talk about and who is an expert that might be able to speak on the matter. So a lot of the presenters at the actual event on, on the day of are speaking about their success stories and the projects that they've recently implemented so others in the community can learn from them. But Burke was not the only one representing Laserfish during the conference. A guest customer took the stage to present their user experience with the software. Our customer, the LA County Sheriff's Department, Deputy Andres uh, Bilbao, spoke on behalf of Laserfish at the conference, and he talked about their new hiring process. And what was really impactful is he showed this packet of papers that they use for uh, just a single applicant to go through the hiring process. And he said, this is what we've been able to digitize, and it was about this thick. And so it was a really good visual to show how they're moving from this really paper-intensive and time-intensive process to a forms-based process that's much quicker and much more efficient and just better service and, and tracking for both applicants and the hiring managers as well. Burke says that attendees stayed after the presentation to learn more about the LA County Sheriff's Department's story as they were eager to improve their job application process as well. We recently worked with the Laserfish pre-sales team to see what are some of the most frequently asked questions they get from customers. Our pre-sales engineer is here to answer one of them right now. Check this out. Hi, my name is Anita Chang and I'm a pre-sales engineer here at Laserfish. One question we get asked pretty frequently is, do I need to know how to code in order to build a Laserfish workflow? And the answer to that is no. So Laserfish Workflow is a business process automation tool that has a drag and drop interface. So we have over 100 pre-configured activities that you can drag and drop onto your canvas to recreate your business process. Laserfish Workflow can also be the integration piece if you need to integrate Laserfish with other line of business applications. So we're pretty flexible there. This allows you to have people who are your business process experts, maybe business analysts who know the nitty gritty detail, to work on your workflows as well as developers who need to create those integrations. If you have any more questions for us, the pre-sales team would love to answer them on answers.laserfish.com, where you can tap into additional resources from your Laserfish community. Thank you, Anita. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to us so you don't miss out on our next Laserfish Insider News.